guys, Aunt Di here from Aunt Di's Craft, and welcome. Um, yep, yeah, just had a shower, so I'm sorry about the wet hair. Today is my grandson's third birthday. I can't believe it. It's where is the time gone? So I'm going to be making him a third birthday shirt, and I've decided to use the infusible ink, so it gives me more time to practice on it. I'm using the sheets, and I just wanted to remind everybody that when you go to weed these sheets, it's not the same as weeding vinyl. You need to crack them. Listen. Crack around. You see the cuts? I hope. Yeah. You crack. You snap around the cuts to loosen them up before you pull off the pieces you don't want. And then you just pop off the pieces. So, I'll show you a couple here. See, I'm just popping them out. You snap and pop. And then you just pull off what you don't want. Just like so. any of the little pieces that might have stayed behind and if you happen to have a little bit of the backing on that's fine too so there it is so remember when you go to weed in fusible ink sheets you don't need to use your pick you snap it to break it from the cut and just pull it apart so let's go I've got my uh, grandson's t-shirt ready and uh, let's go apply this stuff and see if I'm getting any better at it. Take care, guys. See you in a bit. So I have here my Easy Press mat and the T-shirt that I'm going to use. I'm going to start with the back part. Now what I'm going to do, because I'm doing something on the front and on the back, I am going to put... A piece of the you can put a piece of the paper that comes with your infusible sheets or you, my grandson's in the hallway or you can just use a piece of parchment paper but put something in the middle there just so you're not transferring right through and it says to preheat or heat your machine to 385 which I'm doing right now on the back is going to be his letter which I did go ahead and um, oh I did an offset so I'm gonna have the three hopefully you guys can see all these let me go a bit closer so I've got the three and then I've got an insert with the buggies so what you got to do is you can't do this in two shots you got to do this in one shot it's not like with your uh, other vinyl where you could do layers pretty much you're doing it all at one time so insert it to where it's got to go before we apply it just like that so now it looks like one piece okay and it's gonna go someplace someplace like that I think looks like the center let me see here go from the armpit to armpit I'm gonna say 13 and a half yeah that's pretty close now I still need one more piece of my paper first of all we have to preheat the shirt for 15 seconds 
So we're going to do that right now. So just put that on top and push your little green Cricut button. You don't have to press on this one because it's just warming up the shirt. I really should have ironed the shirt first. But that's me. Now that it's warm, we're going to place our number where we want it. I'm going to say right about there. You see? Yep. Put our piece of paper on top. Set it for 40 seconds. And with a bit of pressure, push your go button. You don't need a lot of pressure, but you do need a little bit. I have found that out with the infusible ink sheets, whereas with the vinyl, I don't use any pressure when it's going on material. When I put it on wood, I did need to use some pressure. We're just lightly pushing down. I'm going to push it up because there's still spots that haven't been touched. And I'm just going to lift it, move it very carefully. I lifted it. Do not just drag it across because you might cause your stencil to move. So yeah, today my little guy turns three. It's hard to believe. It, it doesn't feel like it was all that long ago that I was introducing him to everybody. And now he's three. Oh, look what I got came in. My dog tags. I'm so thrilled about them. I'll show you in a few minutes. We're going to be engraving those. See what I mean? I've got so much plans going on. You notice my light flickering? It always does that. I've got quite a light in here. It's a chandelier, actually. I fell in love with it. I'm going to have to bring the crystals off it here soon and get it washed, though. And uh, it does cause quite a drag or draw, especially when I have to use one of my machines. And just so I feel better, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go this way with it. No, let's go. Yeah, I'm going to go this way with it. I'm going to do it again. Oh, I hope this is going to turn out. I'm still, as we know, we're still learning this process. This is why I tell you guys, never, ever, ever take orders before you've practiced something. Because things do take a learning curve. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Oh my goodness, did that ever work? Can you see that? I can't believe that. Look at that. Look, look. That is awesome. So, now I'm going to put this down on my mat just because I don't want that to transfer onto my mat. 
that's got to get bigger because I've got lots of little ones. Now on the front, I was going to put some different trucks. The question is, where am I going to put them? Okay. Let's see what I got here. Something like that. Some of these are really... Oh, there goes that piece again. Are really, really fine. You can go something like that. Tractor. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. Let's just get one piece here, and another piece of Cricut's butcher paper. This stuff comes with the sheets, so don't worry about it. You don't have to go out and try to find it. You can get it. It comes with the sheets. So I'm just going to put him there. Hopefully he's straight enough. My guys are not going to know. No, I didn't warm it up. But that's okay. And where is he? I'm going to apply him. If you have a bigger press, you could probably get it one shot. I think I can here. And time. 40 seconds. Light pressure. second. I'm just so nervous. I'm going to give it 20 more seconds. Thirty. Where's my ten? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, he's going to love this. That is phenomenal. I am so glad it's finally working out. Okay. I think I'll do the tractor right here. He's going to go here. I got a tractor on one side and a bulldozer on the other. I'm sure it's going to be so big on him. He's going to love it. So, once again, just cover where you need to. easily get used to using sublimitation sub or infusible ink. This stuff is phenomenal. Yeah, it's a bit more expensive, but sometimes it's best. So I'm just going to know 20 seconds, just because that made me feel better. Excuse me. Oh yeah. So like even when the paper, it was fine. Don't panic when you go to weed the your transfers. 
if you have some paper left behind, it doesn't affect, it does not affect the transfer at all. So I'm going to do this one, and then we got one more to do, and then my grandson gets to have his shirt. And we'll see, hopefully, hopefully he'll like it. Yeah, those colors. That's crazy. It's amazing that it comes. There's, I'll show you the, there's the before color. That's before it's transferred. I'm going to try just the 40 seconds and see what I think. Oh, I don't think that piece was down. Were you? Yeah. 40 seconds. That's all you need. Just like they say. And I forgot to put a thing there, so I probably transferred over. And it did not. Oh, that's wonderful to know, too. It did not transfer through. So we've got one more shirt, one more iron on to do, or one more image to do. Try to center it a bit. This one's been real finicky keeping the little pieces on. So I'll be glad to have this one done. I've lost a lot of little pieces. But this one, let me show you. Let me get up a bit closer. Okay. So you can tell right there. There's some paper still left behind. Don't worry about that. It's not going to cause a problem with your transfer. So let's lay that down, put our paper on it, just put something here, yeah, I'm going to better do it one shot, as long as I line it up right, and 40 seconds. So I'm going to give it a little bit more pressure, even though it just says light. Which I understand now why, because it's got to stay put. This is just, I'm so impressed. This is the best I've done with it. And I'm thrilled. More seconds just because it had all those little pieces. Well, I've been concerned about. There. And don't forget to turn off your press and always unplug it. Okay, so let's pull the sheet off and see what happened. And see, remember, the paper was right here, and that transferred perfectly fine. So yeah, I am thrilled thrilled with how this infusible ink works. It's just so cool. So cool. I'm going to get them to try it on here in a minute and show you guys. Um, but yeah, I ordered these dog tags from Amazon. Um, if you go onto my Amazon store uh, with the link below, you will find them under my blanks and you got two circles two bones and two of these ones 
I want to show you them because I know when you go to order things like this, it can be very nerve-wracking because you don't know what size they're going to be. I figured they'd be a lot smaller. Um, I'm glad they're not. I wanted them so that they would work for my dogs and I've got the two different size ones as you know. One is 80 pounds and one is not even six. So yeah, so these are going to work out great. We're going to um, attempt to do the, uh, use the engraver on the maker which which I'm really looking forward to so give me a second and I'm gonna go get William my grandson try on his shirt and we'll let you guys see it okay just a moment look at your buggies, buggies. 